Hi, welcome to this section which will introduce you to the multilaminar flow application using our cell X exigo pumps. We have two exigo pumps, they are connected to the two exigo sensors. The, the pumps are controlled by an iPad mini and uh, the setup consists also of a microscope and a digital camera to camera to image the experiment on the monitor. For this experiment, we are using a special wide junction biochip. This is the biochip. We have another biochip which has been fitted on the microscope and uh, the wide junction as we can see on the monitor there. For the experiment itself, we are going to use a buffer solution. So we have one syringe with the, the ionized water at the moment and we have also another syringe which contains a dispersion of particles. The exigo pumps can be stuck together up to a maximum of four pumps. In this specific case we are using just two pumps. The, the, on, the, on this side there is the cable of the power supply and the second pump is powered by the connector which connects the, the two pumps together. We have also the um, sensors and the sensors are connected on the front side of the pump as we can see here, one and two. If you want to turn on the two pumps, we just need to click this button here. As we can see, we have LED lights in front. So yellow light is fading and then it, uh, it is flashing afterwards. This means that the pumps are plugged in correctly. Now I will show you how to control the two pumps using the iPad mini. First, I want to show you how to connect to a Wi-Fi network established by the Exigo pump. So we click on the settings icon. Then we can see the networks available. We select Exigo one. We close the settings. And then we start the Exigo app. And we click connect. In order to be able to use the pumps, we have to initialize them. So we click on the syringe guide here and we click initialize. We do the same operation for the pump number two. Double click, initialize. We can see the green lights in front of the pumps. This means that the pumps have been correctly initialized. The next step is to select the syringe. We double click on the syringe and we select 5 mm syringe because it's the dimension of the syringe we are currently using. Select the syringe and then set. We do the same operation for the second pump. We double click, we select the syringe, and then we click set. The syringe is connected to the Exigo sensor using a Tygon tubing. This is the inlet cable of the sensor. The same thing it is for the outlet. This is the outlet tubing of the sensor. We have a special needle here, we can plug this in into the inlet of the biochip. We can now place the syringe into the Exigo pump. In order to do this, we open the lid and then we proceed to the removal of the clamp. We can take now the syringe containing the buffer solution and then we proceed with the alignment, with the adjustment of the plunger guide with the plunger syringe.
we can now clamp the syringe as we can see the guide is aligned with the plunger of the syringe and we can tighten the screws of the clamp After this we make sure also that the uh, screws which holds the plunger is tightened. And we can close the lid. We proceed with the same operation for the syringe which contains the uh, dispersion of particles. Now the two exigo pumps are ready for the experiment. We just need to make sure that the tubing are filled with their respective liquids. In order to do this, you just need to move the plunger guide of a small amount. I will show you already what's the volume which will be dispensed. And the same can be done with the second pump. So you can see here. We can plug now the, the tubing into the chip, so simply do this operation and we do the same thing for the second pump. We can proceed now with the settings of the PID, so we just click on run and then set. Just change these values to 50 for the P coefficient and done. Set. And then again 0 0.01 and 50 for the D coefficient. And then we can turn it on. Similar operation can be done also for the second pump. We can now set the flow rates. So we can click here in the space for the flow rate. The flow rate is set in nanoliter per minute, so we select 1000, we click done, set, and then run. As we can see, this is the actual value of the flow rate. We can do the same operation for the pump number two. We click, we enter 1000, we click done, set, and run. As you can see here, we have a stable, stable interface. Of course, the interface is actually in the middle of the channel, as expected, because we are running the same flow rate for the, from the two inlets. We can try also to change the flow rate of the syringe which is uh, perfusing the particles. So we click here. We can select, for example, 5000 nanoliter per minute. We click done, set. And as we can see on the graph, there is a variation. As we can see here now, with the new flow rate, the interface results to be shifted towards one side because of the flow rate of the uh, particles is actually increased to 5000 nanoliter per minute. We can now change also the flow rate of the buffer solution. So we can enter 5000 nanoliter per minute. As we can see here, the, the interface has been moved on the opposite side. 
If we want to create our customized waveform of, per of perfusion, we can just click on the program tab and then we can, for example, add constant and uh, we can change the flow rate and the time. In this case, we change the time. We can select 0 0.2 minutes. And then, for example, we can add a ramp. We can change the flow rate. The final flow rate is going to be 0 milliliters per minute. Click done. And then we do the same operation for the initial initial flow rate, which is 1,000 nanometer per minute, to match with the previous step. And then we click done, and then we can set the time. We can add another constant, for example, with the flow rate of 0 nanoliter per minute for a total duration of 0 0.2 minutes. I click done. And then, for example, I can step into 1000 nanoliter per minute again for a duration of one minute. What we need to do now, we just need to click program and then run. We can come back to the view of the flow rates values, clicking on the run button here. Or we can come back on the waveform selection mode here. As we can see, the LED lights now, they are they turn blue. This indicates that the pump is executing a customized waveform perfusion mode. As we can see, now we are running the program. So the interface is drifting towards one side because the buffer solution is actually reducing the flow rate. So the buffer solution now has a zero nanoliter per minute. So just the particles are flowing into the channel. And now again, the, the flow rate has been set to 1000.